We've all heard the word electrolyte before, but do we really understand what they are and what they do for our bodies? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into this topic, all the way down to the cellular level, to bring you a better understanding and knowledge of the world-renowned electrolyte. So what is an electrolyte? Electrolytes are minerals that can hold either a positive or negative electrical charge when dissolved in water. These electrically charged particles are referred to as ions, and they fall into two categories. Cations, which are positively charged particles, and anions, which are negatively charged particles. The main electrolytes that we find in our bodies are sodium, potassium, chloride, calcium, magnesium, phosphate, and bicarbonate. Why is it important that these minerals hold an electrical charge? This is important because our bodies are made up of water, and the cells that make up our organs and our tissues operate by conducting electrical currents. You see, water on its own is a poor conductor of electricity. So in order for our cells to function properly, there has to be all of these electrical charged ions or electrolytes floating around within it. And all throughout our body we find this mixture of cells and water. For example, the brain is 75% water. Your blood is 83% water. Your skin contains 64% water and so on and so on. Even all the way down to your bones which are made up of 22% water. And in order for everything in your body to function properly, our cells have to be able to communicate. So without the presence of electrolytes, the water in our bodies would not conduct electricity and therefore our cells would lose communication with each other, causing everything to fall apart. Just think about your body's nervous system for example, which is made up of cells called neurons. You have your central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and spinal cord, and then you have your peripheral nervous system, which is made up of nerves that branch off of your spinal cord and extend throughout all parts of your body. Say for instance you accidentally touch a hot stove. Take a second to think about how fast you would react to that pain. That's how fast the electrical signals in your nervous system are firing, allowing your brain to instantly perceive the pain on the end of your fingertips. And the presence of electrolytes throughout your entire body enables this process to happen. Our cells also help to maintain proper hydration and fluid balance throughout our bodies. And the volume of fluid within each cell is always changing because of this. Electrolytes play a key role in this process as well, and here's why. The contents of a cell are contained by something called the cell membrane. Fluid has to pass in and out of this membrane in order for the cell to maintain fluid balance and to get rid of waste due to metabolic processes. Now because of positive and negative electrical charges, water molecules are attracted to electrolytes. Sort of like how the Earth and other planets are attracted to the Sun due to its gravitational pull. So wherever the electrolyte goes, the water will follow. Electrolytes are present both inside and outside of a cell, and when a cell needs to shift water outside of its cell membrane, it does so by transferring electrolytes through little pathways called ion channels. The cell utilizes this same process when it needs to take in fluid as well, again, only possible by the presence of electrolytes. Without electrolytes, our cells would shrivel and die or burst from being too full or be poisoned from not being able to get rid of the waste. Our bodies are made up of about 30 trillion cells. There are about 200 different types of cells that carry out different tasks. Our cells are like little tiny factories within our bodies, and factories create waste. And if this waste doesn't get transferred out of the factory, it will eventually get out of control and the factory will cease from being productive. We humans rely on garbage trucks to transport the waste out of our factories. Our cells within our bodies rely on charged ions or electrolytes to transport the waste out of their factories. Electrolytes are also vital for muscle contractions because they enable your brain to send signals through your nervous system to different muscles throughout your body. Resting cells carry a negative charge on the inside and a more positive charge on the outside. 
When your brain is telling your bicep to contract, the electrolyte ions travel in and out of cells turning their negative charge to a positive charge, and it forms a chain reaction through your neurons all the way down to your bicep. Once this signal reaches your bicep, the neurons flood the muscle tissue with calcium ions, causing the muscle to contract. The blood throughout our body is regulated to stay at a pH level of about 7.35 to 7.45. If it moves out of this range, then it can cause your body to malfunction and you will become ill. And having the right balance of electrolytes in your body is vital for the maintenance of blood pH levels as well. So as you can see, electrolytes are essential for our well-being and they play an important part in making sure our bodies function properly. Our bodies lose electrolytes through urine and sweat. But if you're eating a healthy, balanced diet, then you should have no problem with replenishing them. Our bodies are very good at regulating electrolytes and keeping them at the right levels. But if you experience a bad episode of vomiting or diarrhea, it could be useful to supplement with a solution that contains electrolytes to quickly get them back in balance again. Symptoms of electrolyte imbalance include headache, dizziness, confusion, nausea, fatigue, and muscle spasms. More severe imbalances can even cause seizures and comas. And yes, there is such a thing as too much electrolytes as well, so make sure not to overdo it on that colorful sports drink. And speaking of the colorful sports drink, unless you're a serious athlete or you partake in strenuous activity for a prolonged amount of time, you may want to go easy on the all too common sports drinks. Reason being is the amount of sugar that is added to them. If your goal is to shed a few pounds off of your physique, then guzzling down one of these sports drinks after your exercise session may not be the best idea. By doing so, you may be replacing all of those calories that you've just burnt off. And yes, you can find the zero calorie sports drinks out there, but research has shown that even artificial sweeteners may cause weight problems if consumed on a regular basis. The food coloring dyes in these drinks have also been suggested to cause health complications as well. But if you're looking for a way to replenish your electrolytes, coconut water has shown to be a healthier alternative. It even contains all of the key electrolytes, whereas our favorite sports drink may only contain a few. And for an added bonus, it's natural. I hope you were able to benefit from this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.